When we think of electric cars, the first thing that comes to mind is Tesla. Tesla was founded in July 2003 by a group of engineers who wanted to show that electric vehicles can be a better option than petrol cars. They are known to be cars more fun to drive than gasoline cars. These days, Tesla not only produces electric cars but also battery energy storage from home to grid scale, solar panels and solar roof tiles. Tesla is also planning to increase productivity by building factories all around the world. But one of the most impressive things they have is their massive Tesla Gigafactory. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has been placing an enormous bet on the world's largest lithium-ion battery plant called Giga Factory. With a cost of around $5 billion and building facilities with an area of up to 10 million square foot (930,000 square meters), the Giga Factory is expected to make enough battery packs to power 500,000 electric vehicles per year. The Gigafactory project is probably larger than any other cell packing plant on the planet. It also produces more batteries than the entire industry did back in 2013. This facility represents a strong vision of the future of Tesla manufacturing, bringing in as many as 10,000 jobs to the area where it is based. Tesla is building more factories all over the world for two reasons. The first is to simplify the production process. As Musk explained in February 2020, a factory on each continent means cars can reach consumers faster. Cars would have less distance to travel, and each facility could focus on meeting legal criteria for fewer territories. The second reason is that it increases production. This production will reach closer to terawatt-hour battery production levels. In July 2019, Musk said that this will really make a fundamental shift in the world's energy usage. Since Tesla's long-term aim is to promote a shift to sustainable energy, producing inexpensive electric cars as well as energy products is key. However, the entire worldwide supply of lithium-ion batteries would be needed to produce 500,000 cars per year. Hence the importance of the Tesla Gigafactory. Currently, Tesla operates three Gigafactory facilities. Giga Nevada, Giga New York, and Giga Shanghai. Giga Nevada this giant factory plant is located at the Tahoe Reno Industrial Center. Giga Nevada had around 7,700 employees by the end of 2019. They plan to hire thousands more, with a total of nearly 10,000 statewide. The plant began to produce in limited quantities of power walls and power packs in the first quarter of 2016. They will use battery cells manufactured elsewhere and begin mass production of cells. The factory was designed to be energy-reliant. The idea is to power the structure through a combination of on-site solar, wind, and geothermal sources. This factory is planned to handle battery production from start to finish. They aim to process it from raw material over components to finished products and recycling old batteries into new ones. Cells constitute most of the value creation, whereas packing and electronics are minor parts. So, Tesla sees production as more prominent than the products. Therefore, they assign more engineers to improve production equipment than to improve the products themselves. The capacity of Gigafactory for 2020 was to have 35 gigawatt hours per year of cells. The power used is smaller compared to producing a battery pack, which requires 50 gigawatt hours per year (5.7 megawatts). One of Tesla's suppliers, Panasonic, plans to invest more to increase the capacity by 10% to 39 gigawatt hours per year. This capacity increase is considered very important given the increasing demand for Tesla. The two companies have reached an agreement and implementation of the upgrades will begin in September 2020. Giga New York the New York Gigafactory was built on brownfield land, remediated from a former steel mill, and was owned by the state of New York. Construction of the factory started in 2014 and was completed in 2017. Tesla's vision of a sustainable product led to the establishment of this factory, known as Gigafactory 2. 
This massive factory produces unlimited scalable clean energy generation and storage products in the form of solar panels, solar roofs, power wall home batteries, and power pack battery systems for commercial and utility scale sites. Tesla started the production of solar cells and modules at Gigafactory 2 in 2017. Then Tesla added a new production line that will sustain electrical components for superchargers and other energy storage products. The technology they've adapted throughout this process is nanotechnology. This has caused a growing education sector in upstate New York universities to develop programs and research to facilitate nanotechnology programs. These were created specifically to work at the Gigafactory. This opens up a whole world of opportunities. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that the solar panels they produce could be applicable for humanitarian crises. For example, the solar panels could be used for rebuilding the electric grid of Puerto Rico in the aftermath of Hurricane Maria. Giga Shanghai The Shanghai Gigafactory is located in Pudong District, adjacent to the Fengxian District. Currently, this factory is the main production site of the final assembly of the Tesla Model 3. These assembly products will become the Tesla Model Y. The Model Y is scheduled to begin delivery in January 2021. The initial factory production target rate is 3,000 cars a week. This number will increase to around 5,000 cars per week within the coming years. There are four factory locations that Tesla are planning to build in the future. However, some of these are just rumors that cannot be verified. First is Giga Berlin, which is expected to start operating in July 2021. Then there's Giga Texas, which is still under construction since July 2020. The other two locations are Giga UK and Giga South Korea, which are still said to be a rumor. The construction of the Giga Berlin was announced by Musk in 2019, but then the ground was damaged in June 2020, causing a delay of around three months. The plant will be co-built with Giga Shanghai and is expected to produce 500,000 cars per year for the nearby market. The plan is that Giga Berlin starts producing cars by July 2021. So, what do you think about Tesla's factory? Is it as gigantic as you thought it would be? Let us know down in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video.